Hello. So let's have a little bit more fun with some snowballs. Uh, last time I did a snowball one, we made the blocks where we made two colour blocks with opposite colours on their corners. So the snowball block is this one with the corners on. So we did yellow with green squares and I did green with yellow squares. And if you remember, we made this little cork top with sneaky little owls on it. So that was just the, in two colours, more than two fabrics, but just in two colours. So today I thought we'd have another look at a snowball. Um, again, just the snowball block repeated, but have a little play with some colour. So that we're putting different colours onto the one colour background. So all my blocks will be white, but I'm going to put different colours in the corners. And so I've actually chosen, again, not just uh, four fabrics, but several blues, several sort of reddy colours, several greens and several yellowy orangey colours. Uh, and I'll show you shortly um, how I've done that. So I'll just quickly go through the, the block again. Now I did the block in video number 143, Quilting Tips and Techniques 143, um, but I'll quickly run through it again The squares to put the corners on. So initially I've got my six and a half inch square and some two and a half inch squares of the colours. And I've drawn my lines, and I show you all this in the other video in number 143. So I've drawn all my lines using my mechanical pencil so that I've got a line right through the diagonal and another line half an inch away so that this corner that gets cut off doesn't get wasted and it'll be usable. So I'll quickly just make this block up. Um, when, you, when you're doing these blocks, I've, I've done a couple here already, to make it work the way I'm doing it, you kind of need to put them on in the same order. So I've got a yellow, then a green, then a red, then my blues. Um, so I need to put them on in that same order for it to work in an even way going around. So I need to put my yellow, then my green, then my red, and then my blue. Um, and I'll just take this over to the sewing machine now. So I'm going to sew my squares on. And because I've got that second line, I'm going to do that second line of sewing as well. So we'll just quickly make this block up. And I'll do my double line of sewing here. So remembering that we're keeping these squares hopefully in the same colour order going around the basic block so that that's so that when we join them all together I'll show you that shortly that they'll all kind of sit so that you don't get two yellows sitting together and things like that so by using four colours because the four will meet at the corners so normally if I'm doing a whole group of these I would be chain piecing these through which doesn't seem quite as onerous as doing them individually I have to say. Um, where am I going? Okay, now I've got my red, my blue and my yellow. So exciting to use these lovely colours. So this is really an exercise just to show you how you can play with colour and a simple block, have a lot of fun and uh, you don't have to of course use white like I have for the main colour, it could be something else. Um, I just liked the white with these solids, nice and cheerful. Right, just pop the last one on. Second line of sewing, possibly a little tedious, but I'm getting quite a collection of these corners that I'm chopping off now, which is quite exciting. I'm going to do, have to do something with them one of these days. Let's get these threads out of the way. Okay, so I've now I've got my block with my squares on, but I'm just going to trim those corners off now. I kind of like my little ruler to do this bit. So I'm laying the quarter inch line on my actual sewing line and I'm going to cut halfway between the two lines of stitching there and trim off and we don't need that little corner that we trim away. But because we've done that line of sewing on it, it's all ready to use as a little half square triangle square. So 
there's going to be something happening with those one day. So I trim all those off, pop those in a safe place to use later. I'm going to just bring the iron across and press that quickly. And then I'll show you how it all goes together. So snow, snowballs a nice fun block. You can make snowballs with different size corners. They don't have to be this size. I've chosen this size because I, to me it's a nice easy size and I probably will be doing it with some other blocks because normally the snowball block is an alternate block and I might be going to play with some alternate blocks but this time I'm just using just the snowball block repeated. So that's, that's the block, just a, a plain white in this case with four different colour corners. So I've used um, several different uh, greens as you can see, this green is different to this green, which is probably different to that green, which is probably different to that green. So you get the idea of using several different colours within a, a colour range. So because I've sewn mine all so that I've got my yellowy option which might go orange, and then my greens, and then my reds, and then my blues, and they might go purple. And, and so by putting them around this way, we get all these different colours that meet in the middle. So you would, unless you're wanting all your reds in the middle, for example, which is another option, um, you, but you need to plan this a little bit. But if you're not wanting to plan it and you just want them all to be different the way I have, if you keep them in that same colour order going around, when they join up you get the four different colours meeting in the middle, which was my intention. So that's what I wanted to do when I did mine. Green in there. So I've put a few blocks together here. So this is a bit of fun with snowballs with colour. And I thought with it being on the white, that was quite exciting in itself because I think that's going to be a great opportunity to have a play with some free motion quilting. Uh, so that was fun with colour with snowballs and have some fun with colour with snowballs.